Hey everybody, my name is Gatamo, welcome back for another video of Biomutant. We're gonna continue this series, boys, part two right here. Having a lot of fun playing this game for the first part. Uh, we're gonna continue right where we last left off. I don't exactly know uh, what's gonna happen here, but uh, I'm ready. Let's do it. So it's intellect, 12, uh, 10. So I just gotta uh, basically turn these, uh, turn the wheels down uh, for this one. Uh, do I? Rotate, there we go. So I, uh, basically I gotta do this. So I gotta pay a do a bunch of puzzles. This is working out. I need this one to go like this and there it is. Just like that. These puzzles are actually easy. I imagine okay. they're gonna get tougher as the time goes by though. All right, so the door just opened for me. Seems pretty easy enough. All right, let's uh, let's go. Let's go uh, in boys. Seems pretty cool. I uh, got a feeling there's gonna be a oh, airstrike. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Help him out? Uh, who is he? I don't even know who he is, boys. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, oh god, there we go. For a second there, I forgot how to, uh, to play this game for some reason. No, you don't. Oh shit. Unstoppable deal. All right, all right. Got you. All right, let me uh, just do that. There we go. Just jump over. There we go. Got it, boys. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. All right, so I gotta literally smash my way through these people, boys. Boom, look at that, man. Look at how much damage I'm doing right here. I'm gonna actually attack right there, doing a bunch of assault right here. Whoa. I love the, uh, the, the, the effects as well, boys. I don't really like the shooting system, though, in this game. I'm not gonna lie right here. Not gonna lie. All right, so let's, uh, let's do our thing, boys. Got him, got him. Got him. There we go. Oh, watch out, watch out. Got him uh, again. There we go. He's dead. Uh, let me uh, just shoot my way through these guys right here. Uh, got him. All right. All of them are dead. Follow the old one. What would I do that for? Now, I don't know who he is. Makes you think I can trust him or something. Let me take everything that uh, these guys have and, uh, and all. I'm going to loot everything I can, boys. Uh, there we go. There's, uh, there's more stuff uh, to loot from here, so I'm going to continue to loot. There's actually a way up right here. Do I want Do I not want to go up? I kind of want to go up. I'm not going to lie right here. Why can't I go up? Okay, I guess not. Uh, I thought I could. I guess I can't, boys. Let's keep moving. All right, old one. What is this? A new friend. An old friend. Okay. First off, before we do anything, I do want to see... Uh, let's head back right there. There we go. Uh, we got a brand new thing on the map and everything. Okay. Uh, I want to see if my character, we leveled up or anything. We didn't. Don't think we did, boys. It would have told me uh, pretty much if I did. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. I think we're good to go. Let's just continue on our way right here. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. Why you go to your world to Lua? He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark. A facial scar to remember the past. That's right. A scar. Facial scar. That's the scar on my face, is it? Remember what? Uh, the scar. Well, uh, remember what exactly? How Lupa Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? What indeed? We're going to probably find that answer eventually. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back. 
that he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. What's a, uh, what's a stake? Uh, unity? What about unity? Yeah. After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted and over time, the disciples turned against each other. Why wouldn't that surprise me, boys? Of course, they, they would need me to ra rally Had all of them. Been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. What tree? I'm intrigued right here. There's a lot of lore being uh, happening right here, boys. Okay, so dialogue settings. By default, dialogues are set to advance from the NPC line to the next automatically. If you want to manually advance the dialogue, you can change this in the settings. Okay, I got you. What is this? It's little me. Look at this. Yo, I'm so small. I'm even smaller than I was. I'm truly Yoda at this point. What the hell? I'm super small, boys. So cute, though. Look at this. This place looks beautiful, by the way. It's like the same type of setting as a Ghost of Tsushima and stuff. Look at this Elvis wannabe. What the hell is this? There's a greaser in there. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. If my mom is here and uh, knows I'm here, I don't think she's ca she cares. I hope I told her. Well, I don't think she cares too much. Well, you know what? I hope I told her. There we go. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. My fe my gut feelings tell me that I didn't. For some reason, uh, tell her. The potato people. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here, fueling its source of life. Why am I not uh, surprised that there's potato people living in the tree, boys? Uh, I don't believe in magic. Potato, uh, no, no. Potato people is better. Well, I don't believe in magic. Well, I couldn't say that. We don't know about this universe. You the hell is that laugh? Like potatoes, they're packed with energy. An excellent source of key. <laughs> The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Okay, so we are going into a hunting or something, boys. We're going to hunt some potatoes or something or some node or whatever that is. Uh, let's keep moving then. Let's keep moving. I love this game so much, boys. It's a, it's a beautiful game. I don't think uh, the graphics are... Um, as good as it could be if I had like the the next level uh, gen, I guess, consoles and stuff like that, which I still have the old consoles. That's how I'm playing with this game, uh, because I don't have the I can't I can't buy the goddamn new consoles. They're all out of uh, a circus. Can't find them anywhere. All right, uh, what is what is this? Ruffle the glitter grasses. I I just gotta sh do a bunch of stuff like this. There we go. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. Uh, what Pensai? Will it grow strong enough? <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on all right that seems ominous it's like like the tree of life or something like the asgardian tree the hell the only way it might be boys is with the burst of key released from the nono as they become one with the tree you'll need a net to catch the nono and he wants you to use his but asks you to be gentle the Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of key, 
Well, I certainly cannot promise to be gentle about it. So we'll see how it goes. Hoopnet uh, received. So how, or however I do this, interact with this. Go, I got you. I'm gonna catch you, buddy. You can't run away. All right, there we go. I got him. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the pensai tree. How many does he need? Uh, when, uh, where can I find them? Yeah, where can I find them exactly? That's the real question. They're hiding in the glitter grass that mostly grows deep inside damp caves where they draw mineral from the natural rock. All right, so I got you. You got to go into caves and find like these little flower thingies that and uh, shake, them the uh, shake them down, I guess. Tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. All right, the in inosculated pensai. All right, so let me see really quick if I do this. Anybody is going to come out? I guess not. All right, so uh, let's just do our thing. This guy, by the way, this goddamn greaser. I don't know who he is. Seems like he kind of looks funny a little bit. Did not expect that look, that's for sure. All right, so let's go back, boys, to the tree and uh, help this guy out. Merge Nono with the tree. Why not? Uh, do I have another option to not actually do that? I wonder, like, is that an option that I can't, like, actually do that or whatever? I, I don't think it is. I think uh, we're still in the past, right? We're still uh, dreaming about our past. So I don't know exactly if we can actually modify our past. That would be next level type of stuff. Uh, RPG right there. All right, what is this? Look at that tree. It grows fast. Holy shit. It's not like it had tentacles or something. That's not good. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted. And unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. I should make her worry. She only cares about Wong Fu. Yeah, I, I think she only cares about Wong Fu. She doesn't care about me. That's not true. She's the reason there's still unity. And the only one strong enough to keep the six Wong Fu disciples disciplined. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived he feeds the greaser boys i'm intrigued I, I don't know exactly um why he decided to be a greaser in these days but that's quite interesting the end of days uh world eaters yeah what about those world eaters what is this do i need to worry about something right here that doesn't sound like a good name after the apocalypse the toxinol corporation inflicted on the land set the world eaters dna into overdrive all right so we got a brand new location for the map his friend Gizmo jumbo is puff on a mecton and needs help defeating the jumbo puff at the end of the west route 
Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the Merc pup that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the northwest route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof pup at the end of the east route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Pup at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date says his friends are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. I see. Well, there's one place that he hasn't talked about, boys. I'll show you in a second, though. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. Porky Puff, how can I defeat the world eaters? What about the Porky Puff? He claims names have power, so he gave them these names to weaken them. For him, the Porky Puff is particularly personal. It was that carnivorous beast that took his leg. Interesting. Regardless, so he lost his leg about uh, I guess I'm intrigued to see who that um, that beast is then. If he lost his leg against it. He's gonna give me the nest. Alright, so the rune net or whatever you wanna call it, abnormal, alright. So uh pick it up. There we go. So we got the net uh now. There's uh obviously this old man right there, old greaser. Uh, we're going to have to choose our own path, I guess. Fate of the world. So he told us that's the whereabouts. So we got to go through here. And then there's multiple places. The only place he hasn't talked about. Capri Cap uh, Dunes, boys. He hasn't talked about that one. The verb the um, your fields as well. So I'm not totally sure what to, uh, we're going to find in these two places. But uh, he hasn't talked to us about us. Uh, uh, he hasn't talked to us. He hasn't talked about these places at all, so quite quite intrigued right here. Uh, let's find out really quick. We got some new gear and stuff, apparently. Uh, legs. We don't have anything for that. Torso either. Face, no. Head, right shoulder, back. Main uh, stuff. No, we don't have anything. Uh, is it like inventory or stuff or Alamadam that uh, we, we figured out something? I don't know. No, we don't have anything, you know. I don't know why it's telling us that we got something new, but uh, we don't have anything. So let's uh, head back right here. There we go, boys. So we're good to go. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in. And the rope looks strong enough to climb. Sounds like a good idea. That's exactly what I wanted to do in the first place, boys. I wanted to go up. I guess uh, the game was a bit too quick uh, for me. Or I was too quick for the game itself. So we're going up, boys. Now, I'm intrigued. I don't know exactly where I want to go first. We'll find that. Uh, we'll figure it out, I guess. Look at that. No, that world, though. The entire world is going to be a lot of stuff to uh, to see. Help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. I'm very intrigued to see what the world eaters look like. Very intrigued, boys. I don't. Uh, I'm kind of scared, but at the same time, very excited. You know, I don't. I really want to see it for myself. Presented by Experiment 101. Sprint. All right. So I already know how to sprint. I already figured that one out. Let's continue, boys. What is this? Is this like a checkpoint or something? A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Okay, yeah, uh, nice. Yeah, so it is a checkpoint and it also marks out in the map uh, the, the stuff. So, okay, I got you. Let's see. So, what is this? So, uh, signpost are found near locations of interest all around the world. You unlock a signpost when interacted with it. Uh, you can fast travel to signpost. Okay, I got you. So, these are the fast travel points. The signposts are the fast travel plane, uh, points. So, place... Uh, a waypoint. I'm gonna place one. Oh no, that's just me going there, I guess. There we go. So we got a brand new uh, place, boys. So we can 
hop back, hop on back in right here so we can fast travel in this game, which is gonna be very useful for me. All right, good, good to know right here. What is this? What the fu is that one of them? The world eaters? That boy has three heads. What the hell? That, sh that thing is huge. World eater that chewed off out of Date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. Damn, boys. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Yeah, well, you know, I'm trying my my best right here. So what do we do? Where do we go? Uh, we're still in the process of going through places. So I guess we got to go through here. I can we, the one thing that is super fun is you can choose whether you want to go like in the middle, left or right. right which path do you want to take, right? Uh, I think I'm going to take the road. I'm going to follow the road and go left right here. Look, because I'm kind of intrigued, you know. To see someone made it out alive. Okay, some someone made it out alive. The game probably yeah, the game wants me to interact with him. I'm going to loot around really quick. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's kind of sad. It's kind of sad seeing that though. Uh, we got some health patches. I'm going to take everything I can see. Uh, anything else I can loot around right here? I, there's probably some stuff I can loot. Look at these play people. They're all dead. Only one uh, on, one guy left. Oh, there's some more stuff to loot. Don't mind me. I'm just taking everything you've got, buddy. All right. Now I think I can talk to you. I, I think I, I, I took everything. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. All right, so Aura, your inner balance is to have so that complete a wholeness that flows through all things. At times, you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue choices. Uh, few are those who always act in the same manner. And our, our oldness is the sum of the choices we make and the actions we take. The balance of your actions create your aura score, which affects the dialogue with other characters. Interesting. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. What is so important about the Tree of Life, boys, that I'm missing right here? But something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Why would, what would you think I would say through my heart? I could decide to become a Sith and literally like go the wrong way. Anyway, all right, okay. Not by your intentions. I'll leave you to your fate. Let me help. You know, I've got other things to do, buddy. See you later, buddy. I, I got no time for you. He can't understand why you do such a thing. He won't make it out of here on his own. Uh, too bad for you. Boom! Get the Good fuck out of work, my face! Clever cogs. Let me guide you into the dark. The dark? That sounds bad. I'll always... I always like the darkness. Seriously? I always thought better of you than that. Yeah, uh, shut up, wrong. Blight. There's always more dark than light. There's still time to turn back. They're all There's no time. Down my road. Yeah, get out of there. Exactly, there we go. Punched him straight in the face, boys. I'm, a, I'm out of air. Psi point unlocked. So, you gain Psi point. Use it to unlock powers in the mutations menu. Some powers are locked by the overscore, meaning that your Psi point can only unlock powers of the same color as your current uh, aura. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, so I'm going to choose whatever path I want, boys. If I want to be dark or again. not, you I'll choose it. Something important. What, would I, what would I be missing right now? Out of date knows you'll make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there's two nearby. The Jagni tribe is likely to be your primary choice as they seek to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. All right, so I'm going to have to choose between these two tribes, I guess. Or do I actually have, have a choice the uh, where I don't need to actually go for these tribes? I just can go along. Rose from the depths of the surf. 
Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. So the Myriad Fortress, boys. What about the other one? The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction. To bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the Tree of Life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. All right, so do I actually have... Here's my question. Do I need to uh, to go for one of them or can I just ignore both of them and just go on my own way? He believes the tribe Sifus, Jagni especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. <laughs> As the tribe's engagement of world readers... Uh, world eaters? Why him exactly? Exactly, yeah. Why would he expect me to go for one of the tribes? He should expect me to not go uh, for any tribes. I'm a loner, boys. He'll be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Alright, so we've got a couple of things to do. Quest tracking your quest and starting quests are shown in the journal. Uh, you can change which quest you track by uh, doing the journal and everything. Okay, so we got the tribes thingy right here. Okay, so you can see the different tribes. Mariad, Lotus... Ingrid, the Yangni, uh, it's between the Yangni and the Mariad. The Yangni tribe wants to become omnipresent and mostly important feared. They want to vanquish the tribes and let the world eaters destroy the, uh, the world tree. I might go for them uh, if I have to choose. The Myriad is on the greater good and a code of honor. Fuck the honor, boys. No honor for anybody. You think I'm going to go for honor here? Nah, you good. All right, so tribe of war, tree of life. Another world. What is this? The, the, the defeat all four world leaders. So this is my main objective right now. Uh, what about the side quests? I don't have any. So these are all main quests. I gotta go for and, and see what they're all about, I guess. I imagine I don't have any choice here uh, in the matter. I'm still not uh, gonna ignore them for now because I still want to see if it impacts the actual game, whether I ignore them or not, boys. What is this now? Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. Uh, they already decided. I'm going to go for the motor bridge, boys. That choice was pretty easy to make. I'm already going on the left uh, this time around. So aura is somewhat, uh, somewhat dark for me. I might be pinching towards dark aura. Uh, at the beginning, I wanted to go lightish, kind of. But that's just it's for the beginning. Me. I'm going to be honest. Just get over it. <laughs> yeah, very funny, dude. Uh, yeah, at the beginning I wanted to be light, but I think darkish is always going to be my personality for RPGs, boys. It's always my personality and stuff. Look at those wars. There's a war going on between these two. I'm not even going to intervene. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to kill both of them. I'm going to kill both of them. There we go. Go. Go kill both of them, boys. Just kill all every single soldier. Loot, uh, loot from everyone. Boom. There we go. I'm literally going to kill everyone that I see right here. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, man. I'm just attacking him right now. There we go. Got him. Boom. Just like that, boys. All right. So that's good. Uh, that's good. I'm actually trying to attack uh, every single one of them right here. Boom. There we go. Got him. Get him right there. Shoot him. Boom. Got him. All right, so I killed them. Can I kill these guys? No, no, yeah, there we go. I can kill these guys as well. I'm a loner, like I said, boys. Oh, shit. Watch out. There we go. Just going straight against them. Boom. There we go, boys. All right. Get attack them right here. No, you don't. All right, so keep attacking them, boys. Keep attacking them. Now, they're level 5, so they're going to be very 
stronger. I, I will read the pretty difficult to beat as you can see right here. But I'm doing a lot of damage. Very skilled already. Level 3. Nice. Going up in level, boys. I'm going to do a little bit more damage because of that. There we go. Keep attacking. Go, go. Keep attacking, buddy. Uh, keep attacking. Let's go. Get him. Boom. All right. So I got him. There we go. Just like that. Okay. I got to reload. Got to reload. Got him. All right. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Boom. All right. Keep moving right there. Keep attacking. Got him, boys. Nice. There we go. We're having some nice combinations right here. Got him. There we go. So we killed every single one of them. Legit killed every single one of them. I don't care about anybody. Everybody's my enemy in the year. I've got no friends. All right. So level up. Uh, time to see uh, my character level and see what I can upgrade. What I want to upgrade. Obviously, charisma seems to be pretty nice. But if, if I'm not actually going to interact with people, I'm not entirely sure. A uh, lock. Could be great for your critical chances, loot chances as well, right? I think strength. I need to upgrade my strength though because I need to start doing that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to upgrade my strength a little bit right here because I do need to uh, to get something done. So uh, we got some upgrade points. I've got four light, four points for darks and light, uh, two of light. Really? And the two of light are my initial ones. Okay. Close combat maneuvers. So these are for. The upgrade points maneuvers what is this already have everything for that okay basic uh, range uh, basic melee do I have everything I do already have everything pretty much right close combat uh, two way melee yeah so I need I need I need two of them for this one okay uh, what about if I go range right here dual wield or just a gun all together oh there we go that's kind of good Crane dance. We're gonna upgrade. We're gonna take that. So B and X and uh, that, I guess, for the sequence. Next up would be perks. I don't have any. Well, I can use upgrade points for perks as well. Yeah, I should probably do that for perks. Yeah, I should probably do that. So Wang Fu character. What do I have here? Uh, let me see my character really quick. Uh, side points for mutations. That's right. So biogenetic upgrade resistance. Don't have any do uh, any of that, but I have this right here. Uh, biogenetics. I don't have any. Okay, so psi powers, blink, and blaze. You know what? Blink uh, seems like a bit a pretty good one. The type of character I kind of want to have, boys. So let's do that. Uh, we are gonna do. We're gonna do this one. We're gonna press A for that. There we go. It's gonna be applied on A. So uh, do you use blink press down the. Uh, Press down the input you have bound to the ability. It will teleport you to the... Uh, oh, nice. So it's a teleportation thing. It's perfect, boys. Blink is exactly what I wanted. So if we take a look at the map really quick. Either way, I guess we should go left first, boys. We should go left and pay a visit to the, these guys, I guess. They I could. Can I kill these area. guys? Muddied up what used to be muck. As if it wasn't bad enough before the tri-war began. All right. I am going to talk to these guys, I guess. Oh, interact. What is this? Oh, look at that. I can loot around, boys. I can look around and loot a bunch of stuff. Uh, let me take everything. Yeah, everything that, uh, that I see, boys, that I can loot. This looks like a nice area. It's like uh, it really uh, well, uh, well thought out. It's like trench warfare. They're, they're ready for it, boys. They are ready for this place. They look like the type of person that uh, could exactly definitely right defend spot. themselves pretty their well. Friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. Well, I might be part of the problem, boys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't feel like... Oh, I'm going to unlock this, obviously, because this is going to be a fast traveling point. Just let's like see. this. All right, so let's see. We got a brand new fast traveling point uh, right here unlocked uh, to these guys. So can fast travel to their settlement. Uh, let's just go here. Let's interact with them. I'm actually going to, if I have the chance, to tag them as soon as I'm inside, boys. I don't even care. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. <laughs> well, they are at war. I'm here to meet your, uh, your Sif, uh, Saifu, my guy. Thinks you should just put one paw ahead of the other and make your way up there. The tribe is always open to a new face. Sounds good to me, boys. 
Their leader is waiting for me. Look at this place. I'm going to meet with all of them. Can I move? Or I'm going to have to talk to him first. I guess. Look at this place. Look at this guy. Alright, so I think I'm... I might work with him. If I can't kill him, I'm, I'm going to work with him, I think. He's a samurai after all. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. The Sifu is determined to let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. Sounds like a good strategy except for the part where they're gonna get killed, betrayed and killed by the World Eaters themselves. Introduces himself as the tribe. Kind of stupid. The news of a cold blooded Ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. So, cold blooded Ronin, the Great Wall. You've got a Great Wall still? Is still there? The wall that separates them from the other side, the wasteland you came from. He guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. He understands that sometimes we need to lose ourselves, to find ourselves. But he's glad you chose to come here. Already then? There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense your kind hearted. Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Oh, was he now? Very intriguing. Very intriguing. Uh, the disciples, huh? The one of the originals, I guess. Very intriguing, my guy. You might have something in uh, unity fell apart something in part right here. Attacked the old village. Soon after, they formed new tribes based on their own values. And when the blight started, the animosity escalated to war. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land and there are rivals in all directions. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Says fear and hatred is the only path to domination, but you already know that. So embracing that side of you and helping them vanquish the tribes and letting the world eaters destroy the Tree of Life should be an easy decision. You know, I, I don't think I can breast in the dark right here. He didn't expect that of you. You were born bad so you could do good in this world. That weak mind of yours has made you soft. Has it, it now? A chance to change your mind before you leave and asks you to reconsider. Otherwise, you'll be seen as a rival. Well, I'm going to be a rival then, buddy. I don't care. They're not joining you to your stupid plan. You're going to have to do it yourself. And offers you a last chance to come back and join when you realize you picked the wrong side. There is no side, my guy. That's what you're going to have to realize. We're all against each other. I'm all for free for all right here. He urges you to seek protection at Myriad Stone Fort before word gets out that you've chosen not to side with them. I won't need protection from anyone. I'm he good on myself. And the day you meet again, you'll understand why. Well, he, does he think he can beat me one on one? To say goodbye for now. And if it's not the kind of goodbye that lasts forever, then the next will mean the end. Well, looks like we're not welcomed here anymore, boys. We've chosen to be ri a rival to this clan. I wonder if I can choose the same thing for the other clan as well. Literally be a loner and be a rival to both clans. Which is kind of funny. Not pro So seek protection with my uh, the Myriad. Why would I do that? <laughs> that sounds kind of stupid plan, boys. I mean, they've got nice little fortress. I would have chosen them, boys. I hope I can come back. 
if I have to actually choose them or choose one of them, I'll choose these guys. Definitely. Don't worry about it. I all I wanted to do though was to for to basically you know, uh, I want I just wanted to see what they were all about. That's all. I didn't mean to actually like become a rival or anything, but it didn't seem like I had a choice or anything. So I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna see if there's any world leaders that we're gonna see by ourselves. We're gonna like. I don't think we need any help. I, I seriously don't think we need any help. If I go right here, journal, there we go. So another world, conquer. That's the one that, whoa, that no, whoa, hold on. Which one do I, okay, there we go, another world. See protection, no. Defeat all world, uh, four world eaters, there we go. Conquer the rival, uh, the rival tribes. The tribes that spin third and stand in opposition. Some believe that world leaders need to van be vanquished, whatever. I'm not even going to focus on that. I don't care about these guys. Whoa, what if I go into the water? Am I secured here? I don't think I can go into the waters, boys. I'm not going to take any chances here. I'm going to go on that side. I want to go on my own. Oh, well, I can't go there either. Where do I go then? How do I go on the different places? I actually don't, don't know. Let me uh, let me just do the other one uh, then. Seek protection with Byrad. Yeah, I'm going to do this one, boys. So uh, let's complete this one right here. I have a little bit of fun right here. And uh, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to. We're going to go see really quick what they're all about. What is the. What about this building right here? What is this? Better beware. That's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution. The wonky ones, especially. Deformed and unheard. Shit, man. What the fuck? Yo, it's dangerous. Gotta shoot it, though. Go, gotta, gotta get it, boys. Go, 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 get it, get it, get it right there. Woo! Whoa, no, no. stop it, stop it, buddy. You're doing a lot of damage to me right there. No, you don't. Okay, it's doing a lot of damage, all right. Oh, watch out. No, oh, no, you don't. Go, 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 go. No, reload, reload, reload. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh, we gotta watch out for his, uh, his attacks, boys. All right, so we're gonna continue to shoot him. Go, go, attack him. Got him. No, no, no. Oh, how can I not? Why can I not evade that, boys? All right. No. Oh, fuck. Quick heal. All right. Quick heal, boys. So now it's telling me how to quick heal at least. There we go. I think uh, the best way is to go um, range on this dude right here. No. no watch out. Fuck. How does it? How is he so strong? I don't get it, boys. I don't get how he's so strong. No. Man, he's... Super, so I'm gonna have to change my strategy when it comes down to uh, fighting these dudes. I swear. All right, we got him at least, but still, he was pretty dangerous right here. All right, so we did we did get a level up as well. Hold on, there's some stuff I can loot right here. Let me get everything, boys. Get every single thing. All right, so we're good. Uh, now we can go in there. We got a level up. I'm gonna continue to increase my strength. I really want to be a bit stronger, do more damage. Because it's, uh, it's becoming a bit uh, tough right here. Alright, so uh, luck out. Your loot chances increase. Battle, your coal, whatever. Key energy. So use after successful special attack. Don't really care about these. Saboteur. Your dodge energy cost is reduced. Reflexes. I'm going to do reflexes, boys. Weapon based range attacks by enemies have 10% uh, less chances to miss. There we go. So I've got reflexes on. That's really good. I'm going to continue to go on this way, boys. Uh, if I can. Yeah, I can. There we go. Keep moving towards that direction, boys. If I can move... I think I can move through, uh, through here. Continue to jump. There we go. Continue to jump right here. Can I... Can I go there? I don't think I can. There's got to be a better pathway to that place uh, right here. Let's... Let's find a better one, I guess. I think I just got to go around maybe, boys. All right, so let's figure out right here what the, these guys are all about. We're obviously going to talk to them. Let's see, see really quick. Can I uh, cut some corners? I I sure can. Uh, if I go here, there's That's another the pathway through here. Tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. Well, I'll know very quick. I'm already a rival to the other clan. I'm about to make myself a rival to this clan as well. We're going to make a fast traveling point uh, uh, to this place. See. 
and uh, that's it. There we go. So we got a bunch of fast traveling points right here. Can go to multiple places. I'm just gonna go inside really quick. To that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Yeah, well, let's make an entrance. Well, can I go through the other directions? Well, I, I, I don't think I can, boys. I think I have no other choice but to go through the gate. All right, let's find out right here. What is this? Need a few minutes. They're at war. I need a few minutes to see your sire, my guy. Door is always open. There we go. Just go ahead. Open the door. So we're going inside, boys. Uh, let's uh, let's find out what we got right here. Let's skip that. There we go. So there's the Myriad right here. The guy. Let's see what we got. Probably if I have the chance to do it, I'm going to decline him as well. I just think they're a bunch of maniacs. They're at war with each other. The when they should be united understanding of the greater good and the code of honor they believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace bit too late for that the sifu is convinced that defeating the world eaters and saving the tree of life is the only way to make the world a better place He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. Why a vigilante though? Everybody's telling that this guy is like no, no news, no good news. Uh, why a vigilante? Why that exactly? Why that name? He heard you took out of date side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. It seems you believe in helping your next, and that's something you have in common. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. I didn't have much of a choice, buddy. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense your kind hearted. Kenny now. Just like the other dude, he said the, the same thing. Says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Moomer. All right, so it's basically the same thing. He was one of the originals as well. Disciples, there we go. Uh, we're gonna. He's gonna basically the same. The same thing. To tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. Ally with Myriad, the Nandine tribe. Well, either way, I got no choice. So they want to unite the tribes, defeat the world eaters, and save the tree of life. Wanting this, set, set the game's end goal to save uh, the tree of life. Choosing a destiny for the for defeated rival Sifus is limited to unite or subdue. A uh, coerce the the Yani tribe. What about them? The Jagni tribe may believe oh, the Jagni that tribe. hatred will lead them to domination. A vanquisition of the tribes and destruction of the Tree of Life won't be the restart they want. It's just an end to everything. Oh, I disagree. So I'm I'm allying with him. Uh, see, I didn't want to ally myself with Myriad boys. I didn't want to do that. Their kin have run I wish there was another way. themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. I wish there was another way, man. I wish I could have made the other choice. I could still back, uh, back boys, back up and go for the other guy, but... There's no other option left but war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. So he wants me to take control of these tri uh, these po outposts. I don't know, man. I, I feel he like I, I want it to be with Yangni here. Their side. The only way you learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Kind of feel bad right here. I wanted to be with Yangni, uh, Jangni boys. I didn't, I didn't want to be with Umdrum. The Seems like a of this war jackass on Drum, that is. Tells you not to be afraid. 
Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. I don't care about the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. Share land? Why would we... Why would we share land? That seems like a dumbass plan, boys. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to unite with people. I would just want to let them be. I just want to be my own pe my own guy. Their own tribes. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. I don't know about that Again, one, my guy. The memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. I have a family? That's my first question. What family are you talking about? He can't blame you for not remembering, but he can sense the stillness of something lost. All right, we, we got an alliance with this guy, so I'm kind of stuck with him. I could like le uh, load the game again, load the game, say uh, the save files. I don't think like I want to do that. Kind of want to attack these guys, son of a bitch, and attack you. Shoot them! Shoot these assholes! I can't, boys. If I had a true choice right there, I would have chosen uh, the other guys. Interact. Kill this fucking fool. Don't want to interact with him. Man, this is bullshit. I'm stuck with these guys now. I made the wrong choice, boys. I could have uh, could have uh, easily went for the other dude. All right, so who are these guys? I can interact with these guys. Oh, it's just a civilian. Okay, it's just a bunch of civilians, right? Yeah. So they don't have anything to say to me. So, all right, let's head back then. So we are welcome to this place, I guess. I guess we're going for unity, boys. Unfortunately, we're going for unity. Uh, yeah, Jang is my uh, rival. Yeah, you know what? I don't like this. I I wanted ja I want to be on Jagni's side. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to be on Jagni's side. I'm gonna have to load the game, boys. So saboteur, level three, level two. I'm gonna head back to another world, an alliance, fate of the world. All right, so we're back here again. Uh, where are we exactly? Did I make my choice already? All uh, right here, conquer the rival tribes, another world, seek protection. Oh no, it's too late. It's too late, boys. Unless I go all the way back, I have to face... Nah, I'm going to have to go all the way back. Damn. So I'm going to have to load the game all the way to Bunker 101. Damn, that's rough though. That's super rough. You know what? I'm probably just going to end up doing that. I think I'm just going to end up reloading the save file at Bunker 101 and redoing everything myself. Uh, so uh, I'll uh, I'll do that, I think. And uh, just uh, in the next video, I'll see you guys and we're going to be ready to align ourselves with the Jangni instead. So let's do that. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.